Hi, this is Ben Fick from UK NetGuide, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to place bets on baseball using an online bookmaker. If you don't already have an account with a betting company, then here are some pointers on what to look out for when choosing one to go with. First up, you'll want to check out the size of the bonuses on offer when you sign up. Typically, a bookmaker will match your initial deposit up to a certain amount, giving you twice as much to place bets with. Some bookmakers may limit this to the first £20, while others may offer over £100 free, so find out what you'll receive before signing up. Secondly, you might want to consider the special offers that are available with a particular bookmaker and decide whether or not they relate to the types of bet you'll be placing. For example, you might be able to get money back offers, enhanced odds or bonuses on multiple bets and these can greatly increase the value you receive. Lastly, you'll want to consider the range of markets available and the odds themselves. Not only will some bookmakers offer a greater variety of sports, they will also have a larger number of bets available on each event. Different companies will have the best odds at different times, which is why we recommend opening accounts with two or three of them and comparing the odds between them each time you bet. To save you the time and effort of comparing all the main betting companies, UK NetGuide has done the legwork for you. We check the bonuses and offers and compare the odds across a huge range of markets to put together our independent top 10 list of bookmakers in the UK. There are some well-known names and some smaller companies included in this list and it is regularly reviewed and updated as offers change. You can view it by clicking the link below now. To show you how betting on baseball works, I'll be using one of the most established companies around, Bet365. When you first sign up for an account, you'll have to fill in some standard details, such as your name, date of birth, email address, phone number, and home address. You'll also be asked to set a username and password, and potentially some memorable security details too. In the UK, you must be at least 18 years of age to open an account with a betting company. Now I've already got an account here at Bet365, so I'm going to quickly log in before we go any further. Now that I'm signed in, I'm going to navigate my way to the baseball section and I'm going to look at the game lines for this evening. Now these give three main ways of betting on each game. You have the outright winner, which is known as the money line. You have an over or under score for the total number of runs. And you have a handicap winner, which is known as the run line. Now, in case you aren't familiar with baseball, games are listed with the away team first. So this top fixture is the Atlanta Braves playing at the Baltimore Orioles. The second one is the Chicago White Sox playing at the Boston Red Sox, and so on and so forth. To begin with, I'm going to look at a single game and I've chosen the Detroit Tigers playing at the Tampa Bay Rays. As you can see, there are numerous ways to bet on a game of baseball. But let's start with the three headline bets that I mentioned moments ago. First up, I'm going to try and pick the outright winner of the game. Now, baseball is a notoriously difficult sport to predict but there are some things you can look at to help you decide upon your selection. The first of which are the stats of the two starting pitchers. On the official Major League Baseball website, we can see that the pitchers for today's game are Sanchez and Carnes. If we click on their names, we can see their stats. So let's take a look at Sanchez's numbers first. Probably the most important stat is that of a pitcher's ERA, which stands for Earned Run Average. And this represents the number of runs conceded averaged out over nine innings. 
So a figure this season of 4.59 means that on average, Sanchez will concede 4.59 runs if he pitched every inning in a game. Although more often than not, pitchers will only pitch six or seven innings in a game. Now if we scroll down and have a look at his most recent games, you'll see that in the earns runs column, that he has been more consistent of late, conceding just two, three or four runs in his last six games, with two games before that where he conceded no runs at all. Earlier on in the season, however, he did struggle somewhat with much higher numbers, including seven runs from just 3.2 innings and nine runs from 3.1 innings. If we go back to the schedule, and we click on Carnes, the first thing to note is that he is much less experienced having only played 24 games in his career thus far. However, he does have a better ERA this season at 3.47. Now if we have a look at his recent run of games, then apart from having seven runs hit against him in his second to last game, he has pitched consistently well for most of the season, giving away no more than two runs in 14 of 19 games. So it would seem that the Tampa Bay Rays have the better starting pitcher. But how about the other side of the game, the hitting? So if we visit the ESPN baseball website and we take a look at the overall standings, then we can see that the Rays have scored 351 runs so far in this season while the Tigers have scored 440 runs. And if we look at the Rays' more recent form, also here on ESPN, then we can see that they have not scored more than four in any of the last nine games, while the Tigers have scored nine twice, along with a seven and a five in other games. So on the face of it, the Tigers seem to have the better batting lineup. It would seem to me that this game is fairly evenly poised, with one team being superior in pitching and the other being seemingly better at batting. If we return to Bet365, then we can see that this is reflected in the odds for the game, with the Tigers being priced at just over evens, while the Rays are just about odds on favourite to win. For this demonstration, I'm going to favour the team with a better starting pitcher and opt for Tampa Bay Rays at odds of 20 to 27. All I need to do is make my selection by clicking on it, come across to my betting slip, enter my stake, which in this instance is going to be £10, which will give me an estimated return of £17.40, and then hit the place bet button to complete it. And that's all there is to it. So picking the total runs is also dependent on the respective pitching and batting abilities of the teams. Based on the recent stats we have just seen, I'm going to err on the side of under seven runs for this game. This is because Sanchez is going through a comparatively good spell for him, whilst Carnes looks to be a generally mean pitcher in terms of runs conceded. So I think the pitchers will dictate the scoring more so than the batters. A five pound bet at odds of four to five gives me a potential return of nine pounds, and again, I'll just click place bet to finalize it. Now, from what I've seen, I think this is going to be a fairly close game, which means the 1.5 run handicap we can see on the run line is going to be very much in play. Therefore, I have to side with Detroit and their plus 1.5 runs advantage in this market. Now, odds of 20 to 37, a 10 pound bet will give me estimated returns of £15.40 if I win. And once more, the place bet button will confirm this bet. So there are plenty of other ways to bet on a baseball game, and another which can provide some interesting choices is on the race to runs market. Now here you have to choose a team who you think will reach the specified number of runs first. So the Detroit Tigers are priced at eight to five to reach four runs first, for example. 
but there is also the third option of neither team reaching the specified number of runs and this is where I'm going to be placing my bet. So given my earlier conclusion that this will be a tight, relatively low scoring game, I'm going to suggest that neither team will reach the four run mark. At odds of 19 to 10, a five pound bet will give me potential returns of 14 pound 50 if I am correct. So the final market I'm going to show you here is the double result market. In this instance, you have to predict who will be winning after the first four and a half innings and who will be winning at the end of the game. Now, since it's the first four and a half innings, it will mean that the visiting team, in this case the Detroit Tigers, will have batted for one more innings, so should theoretically hold the advantage. But seeing as I believe the Rays have a better starting pitcher, I think this first team advantage will not be so important and it will actually be a tie after four and a half innings with the Rays going on to win. This has odds of 11 to two. So I'm going to come up to my betting slip and place three pounds on this for a potential return of 19 pound 50. And I will finalize it once again by clicking the place bet button. If I now return to all of the game lines for today, I will show you that it is possible to place a multiple bet across more than one game. So, for instance, if I believe that Atlanta, Colorado, Seattle and San Francisco will all win, I simply select them as I have done, come across to my betting slip, click where it says multiple bet options and then choose one of the multiple bets that are available here in my account. Now to keep things simple, I'm just going to go for a straightforward fourfold accumulator. I'm going to place two pounds on, which will give me potential returns of 34 pounds and 15 pence. And just like with the other bets, clicking the place bet button will finalize it. Now, it is also possible to combine the money line, the over-unders and the run line into a multiple bet so long as each is from a different game. Finally, if we return to the main baseball page here on Bet365 and we scroll down to the season long markets, you can see that it's possible to bet on the winner of the World Series outright, the winner of each league and the winner of each division within the leagues. So if we look at the outright winner of the World Series, you can see that St. Louis Cardinals are currently the favorites with several other teams looking to be in with a half decent shout. And these are fairly straightforward markets to bet on. So I won't be placing any actual bets in this video, but it is as simple as selecting um, who you think will win, entering your stake and placing the bets as I've done previously in this video. So that just about wraps things up. As you've seen, you can bet on each game in many different ways or combine two or more games into a multiple bet if you wish. As with any form of betting, do your research first and make sure you manage your budget carefully. Once again, I'd like to remind you that UKNet Guide has selected what it considers to be the top 10 betting companies in the UK. And I recommend that you visit this page by clicking the link below now before opening any accounts with a bookmaker. That's all for this video. I've been Ben Thick, and I will see you again another time.